Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Sheila in the house. Hey. And we got Vivian in the house. Hey, hey. Lego. Now, this year's Grammys had a lot of memorable moments, but some of my favorites are the costumes. I mean, outfits. Check it out. What is this? So, this is a uh, Tyler, the creator's outfit for the Grammys. You want to work at the Grand Budapest Hotel so bad? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The Grand Budapest. So, this is something that I found on Facebook. Everyone at the Grammys look like a new Batman villain. <laughs> I think Billie Eilish looks like a Ninja Turtle. Oh, is that who that is? Mm-hmm. You can't See, tell because she's covered up from head to toe. Child, but bless her. Is that one? Is that a mask that she has on? She's well, like a reptile. Right. That is exactly. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Got a little Nas X in the pink. <laughs> oh, like the cowboy Barbie. I am not mad at him and his Look at that he swag. Thing. And I don't, I don't even know who this person in the corner is. Well, I don't they're either. all like cowboys right now. I know, yeah. That, that's like really, a, like, it, it was a cowboy like, themed. Do they drag. have a mask as well? Yeah. Wow. It's just interesting. And then uh, some of them even have some nice features. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yay. I have seen this one. Ooh, I open sesame. Yeah. I'm not mad at this. I actually wouldn't mind trying this one. I it's think so it's extra. Is, 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 is that for you? Is that for like when you when you want to talk to people? Yes, that's perfect nope. because I'm hella introverted. And you're like, nah, I'm good. Yes. <laughs> I'm going back in my hat shell. Sometimes when I go to a laundromat, I'm asking for my clothes back, and it's like on that little rack that just kind of keeps curving back oh, around. Yeah. Curving back around. <laughs> oh, I was like, okay, that laundromat hat. Okay, I see. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. And living out in LA, traffic gets pretty bad. But I've never seen what's about to go down here in this video from Florida. Florida back at it with the long lights. Mm. Cats <laughs> out here just sitting in chairs <laughs> playing Uno. My question is, how long was that light? Cause, mm -hmm. like, so that means they had enough time to like yeah. get all the furniture out, mm -hmm. take out the cars, mm -hmm. and, and they look comfortable. I just love the kid in the background, like, "Mama, look at this!" Like, "Boy, put your." <laughs> I want to play Uno too. Like, I play Uno. Play? It's a red light challenge. Did they create that, or has that been going on? That's a I'm, challenge I'm not participating in. This is a guy. He's just like waiting. Like he has enough time to just open his car up. Put that's the door how, open. That's what I want to know. How long does the light take? First of all, if he has to open his car door to <laughs> chill in his car, he should not be in a car that size. He obviously can't handle that small he car, needs like which a, is why I prefer SUV. SUV. Is, uh, are you are you into SUVs? I that, am is that, into is that how you get down? SUVs because I prefer SUVs, so I don't have to open my door to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Keep it real. Very real, people. Woo! Okay, SUVs to breathe. Hello. We got a fugitive on the loose. Apparently, that's what guests were saying at a Newark, New Jersey airport when a prisoner went to the bathroom and escaped. Check it out. Panic at Newark Airport today when an inmate escaped during a trip to the bathroom and allegedly hid in the ceiling. Hid <laughs> in the ceiling. He's like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Like, like you know, no. you know what he hid in the ceiling. <laughs> Law enforcement sources say they were looking for an escaped prisoner named Constantino Coffey. Now, wait a minute. Ooh, hold on. Constantino Coffey. Constantino. I, I have I a feeling that's not that. his real name. Yes, it is. That, that has to be a street no. name. No, that yeah. sounds like a drink you'd order at a bar, okay? Uh, who wake you up the in the morning? morning? He's related to John Coffey from Green Mile, okay? <laughs> Except John Coffey didn't escape. He did, though. What's good? We learned it. I want to know what were his parents thinking when they said, what's the best name for our baby? Constantino. Coffee. Best part uh, of waking just, up is Constantino, Constantino in your cup. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about this. I was singing that earlier, but you didn't hear me. Wow, and I thought I was the craziest person on this show. A manhunt began around 11.30 when a man arrested for narcotics went to the bathroom and then disappeared. Well, that he escaped. I don't know how he did that in the bathroom. Who oh, man is this? Who, is, that you, is that your oh, auntie? Man. Why they got your auntie? Why, why, why they got your say. auntie on there like that? Why do they mad? <laughs> I'm mad. Who look I'm... like they are not prepared for the camera. <laughs> I promise it's always one reporter. That's looking around like, who looks the ratchetest? <laughs> who gonna bear Look today? at that lady with her hair just ready to go. Yo, I'm like, it was definitely ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at that. It's Constantino <laughs> Coffee's wife. That's yeah, my wife. Like, I don't know how he did it. Constantino is under her wing right it. now. Officers at Customs and Border Protection had him in custody. They took him to the bathroom and then he vanished. 
hours. But, but like, how, but how does he vanish though? Like, like how does he vanish? Especially if they took him to the bathroom. But my whole thing though, like, if he was in handcuffs, how would you get up to the ceiling? He's like, yeah, Houdini. but but can you can you like sit down on a toilet and hand your business when you're handcuffed? Like, you just like no, because you gotta wipe yourself. Yeah. Well, some men don't See, wipe themselves. <laughs> That's a different story. What kind of man you know? Uh, <laughs> shout out, I am single. So if you wipe yourself, you're already on the list. Officers spent hours climbing into air vents and open spaces in the ceiling. And that is where they eventually found him, one story above. <gasps> this is this is the cure for the justice system. I'm going to let y'all know right okay. now. Okay. Let us know. When you Sister see preach. somebody has that kind of skill set, to climb into a ceiling mm -hmm. and be able to go to the next floor. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have them in jail. You need to get them into the yeah. army or into some type of service system to be a part of this country, to protect this country, because them brothers got skills. I find it amazing. I, I'm bewildered by that story. Oh, look at this guy right here. He looks like a director oh, for a British film. <laughs> <amazing. laughs> you know, I no, he, he no, he is the escape artist critic, okay? Mm -hmm. and I, was like, I, I find it naturally okay. amazing. It's He's amazing. got a real talent. Valentine's Day is fast approaching, and there's a Canadian hotel that's offering a baby-making promo, where if you get pregnant on Valentine's Day, they'll give you free Valentine's Day stays for 18 years straight. Hotel Zed. Ooh, no, looks like a motel set. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I do not want you to they impregnate don't, me at hotel. They probably no. don't change the sheets. That's why. <laughs> that's not even years. a sexy name. Hey, is that the hotel? That's the hotel Z. It doesn't Ooh. look like a sexy place. It's like stuck in the eighties. Hold too, on. Why, why y'all got the van from Scooby Doo? <laughs> All right, I just want to know what else is in there from Scooby Doo. Um, <laughs> they got the ghosts. ghosts. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My whole thing, though, is how do you prove such a thing? Mm -hmm. How do you prove that you got pregnant on February 14th? That's a good point. I mean, the date of but, when they're born. Maybe? But, but you no, know, but like people are like, pre you got premature yeah. babies. You could be That's like a day true. late, a yeah. week late. That's a good point. Now, the real question is, why would you want to go to such great <laughs> lips to be able to go back to yeah. that hotel? <laughs> <laughs> they got to pay oh, me great. to stay there. Now, we all have our favorite superheroes. Some mm -hmm. people love Batman. Others love Superman. But how many of you know about Penis Man? <laughs> so there's a man going around Tempe, Arizona, riding Penis Man all over local restaurants, stores, and businesses. Well, let's check out some of Penis Man's greatest hits. <laughs> Charles said, is Penis Man a hero or menace to Arizona? Hmm. So we got Penis Man on the porta potties. That's appropriate. Right? That's mm -hmm. right. You're gonna I feel have to, like Penis Man would strike. Penis Man on the doors, Penis Man on the windows. Penis man on abandoned houses. Does he not have a job? <laughs> Why does he oh, not yeah. have it's anything like, better to do than go around statement. and write penis man? And then we got uh, Philip Ashton. There's been a person going around Tempe since November tagging penis man all over. Today, while going to get coffee, he done penis five Starbucks. <laughs> penis five? He's, be he's becoming very popular. <laughs> penis five. Hashtag penis that's not, five. That's that not, sounds like fried penis. That's penis not, fried. <laughs> <laughs> I want my penis fried. <laughs> You trying to advertise being single. Coming, this is not how you're gonna get there. I'm not you gonna get it. She said hashtag single. <laughs> now it's time for the viral victor of the week. The viral victor of the week goes to Drummer Duck. Oh, him's so cute. <laughs> yes, I saw this. Oh, I love him. I want one. Now is this animal abuse? No. <laughs> like this duck's trying to get away. <laughs> He was like, He's trying to work for Affleck. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time, woo, let go. Let go. Thanks for having us on. From the window to the wall. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let go, let God through the ceiling.